So if we um, bring in a gimbal, I appreciate that not everybody has maybe got a, a gimbal, but this can be done on a table, sitting in front of a, your dining room table or kitchen table. And even if you had a smaller ball, like a football or a beach ball, you can achieve exactly the same movement as I am with this, um, with this Pilates ball. Now, I'm just going to turn around to the side for this one. So hopefully you can see my bag. The ball is um, in front of me, but what I want to, um, to show you with this one, this is a really lovely one to start with, but what we want to do is we want to make sure that we keep our upper trunk or our back lengthened. We don't want to cur curl over the ball because then that's not getting the extension to the cord. So you want your back to be kept lengthened or elongated. Um, what we can do is we can set our arms in the ball again, like the other position. Sorry, not like the other stretches when we were lying flat. We want to keep our arms straight. And what you're going to do is you're going to roll that ball forward as far. So your arms are going over the ball. Your back is lengthened and straight and you're holding it for a count of five and then you're rolling that ball back in towards the starting position. So feet are firmly on the floor. You're rolling the ball out, looking ahead, keeping that length in your back, going just to where you can feel that pinching where you feel the stretch into the armpit, into the upper arm, holding it for a count of five, and then coming back to the starting position. And like I say, this is a really lovely one to start with, so, and it's a nice gentle exercise. You may find it easier to do both arms, um, or you may find it um, that you want to just work on the affected side. So again, purpose of demonstration, my right side is my affected side. So I'm taking that arm, moving with the ball, holding that stretch, and then bring it gently back in. Okay. So with this again, um, if you had your kitchen table and your beach ball, all you're doing is just making sure that you're getting that movement out rather than your whole trunk. You're not moving from your waist, you're lengthening from your arm. So it's coming out from here rather than the movement coming from your trunk. Okay. Um, and again, you'd repeat that. Um, five second hold up to ten times or as as much as is comfortable um, for you to manage given at what stage you're at. So the next exercise is a seated bilateral diagonal ball push. So we've learned the first move um, where we're going straight out in front and obviously that is helping to stretch the cord from the armpit into the upper and potentially lower arm. It's also helping to really stretch that connective tissue and fascia in around our um, sort of affected chest wall area. If we want to progress it a little bit more, um, like the other exercises, we just add a different direction. So with that one, or with this one, what we're going to do is we're going to do a similar movement where we're um, bringing the ball out, pushing it forward but this time instead of going straight forward we're going to go on a diagonal. So just um, to demonstrate you're going to keep your trunk lengthened like always and this time you're working with the ball and stretching over to one side. Now obviously my right side is my affected side there and I'm length, sorry, yes, my right side's my affected side and I'm lengthening, I'm pushing the ball out to my left. So as I'm doing that gentle movement, gentle stretch, it's lengthening 
uh, all the connective tissue, all in round my arm, my elbow, and in round the right side of my body, including round my shoulder um, blade. And that's where it can become really tight. We know that our movements in our arm, your shoulder and your um, your shoulder joint and your shoulder um, blade and everything, it all works in combination whenever we're moving our arm into different directions. So really with these stretches we want to incorporate functional movement into the stretches. So if I was to go out to the right side, this time again it's just rolling with the ball, keeping my trunk lengthened I, as far as I can to feel the stretch, holding it for a count of five and then coming back in. Now, obviously this exercise is with both hands and that makes it that little bit easier. If you're finding that too easy and you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, we bring in just the one arm, the affected side. So just to demonstrate, what we do with this is we use our affected side, similar movement. But what we can do is add a deep breath, okay? So we breathe in and then breathe out. Breathe in to come back. and breathe out. So let's just do that again. And if I was to do it to the other side, just for demonstration purposes. So this is how we can use diaphragmatic breathing to incorporate a deeper stretch to those tissues.